For many people, the key to a better life is still higher education, but college graduation rates for students who are the first in their family to go to school are shockingly low. Tonight's changemaker, Monica Catru, is working to reverse that. The Needham mother leads a group of volunteers who are supporting young people and honoring her daughter's memory. Anaya was a precocious kid. She was just always thinking of what to do next. She was an old soul. An old soul who died far too young. When Anaya took her own life two weeks before she was to start at MIT, her family wondered how they'd survive without her. When she passed, we struggled a lot. Anaya's mom, Monica Catru. In that despair, we were running through her stuff and looking at the pictures and all that, and we hit upon this project first. A project to help first generation and low income students who often don't have equal access to education. She would talk about it, like how a child, you know, somebody like her can take SATs multiple times. A student who doesn't have the, mo have the money cannot do that. So it's not that she's smarter, it's just that she has more resources. She felt a real injustice. And so this grieving mother, an Eversource executive, with no experience in nonprofit work, gathered friends to brainstorm, channeling Anaya's vision. I think you need compassion first. So if you lead with your heart, the solution comes. The solution is the Anaya Tipness Foundation. We are looking at, at a society where everybody will have that opportunity to that American dream. How much has this changed your life? Oh. <laughs> For, <sighs> it has changed my life a lot. Tufts University junior Brianna Feliciano is an Anaya Tipness scholar. The network that they have, they just open doors for us. Providing financial help, internships, financial literacy, workplace training, and a mentor through all four years. For Brie, an architectural studies major, this is the big X, I can do something along this line. Who just designed the set for the TEDx talks at Tufts, that's made the biggest difference. I just finished submitting four different applications to four different architecture firms. She helped me build a portfolio, she helped me build my resume. Building toward graduation and beyond, the scholars are also beating the odds. While the majority of first-gen students work to help support their families, fewer than one in four graduate. That's a number the foundation's working to change. What are the success rates of the scholars? I am so proud to say that we are looking at 100% graduation rate. All of them on time, on schedule. So it's four years, they have done it. My mentor is still there for me, offering me support. Cape Verde native and Brockton High alum Malou Andrade graduates from UMass Amherst in May with a job waiting at Price Waterhouse Coopers. She says the foundations helped her every step of the way. It's provided me so much growth, so I want to reciprocate that. That gratitude goes both ways. The all-volunteer foundation that started with a single scholar five years ago now supports almost 40. We've enriched our lives, so I think this is everybody wins in, in, in this. Failure was never an option for me. This was a dream that Anaya had. A dream connecting her to Anaya with every success story and changing the future for young people and their families. What would Anaya say about this? I know she would be incredibly proud. She would be incredibly proud and she would say, I think she would say, I told you so. Now this year's applications are in. The foundation starts choosing the 2023 scholars next month. And although there are no immediate plans to expand outside Massachusetts, Monica says if you have the right group of people, and she does, you could replicate this program anywhere. To get involved here, volunteering or donating, we have the information on our website, cbsboston.com. An amazing mom, an yep. amazing daughter, and to see that their bond continues to evolve and grow even after she's gone it's great to see that this program is doing so well and to see mom doing so well. You know what, David? She said she feels connected to Anaya every single day, and those kids reap the benefit. 